Hey everyone, it's Overlord73 from GameAnyone.com I'm playing Venetica on the PlayStation 3 we just cleared the catacombs out Now we're back to the... on his way back to the tavern now Talk to... I think her name is Leori Just to finish this quest up Just to let her know that we've spoken to her dead husband Which would freak any normal person out really but... So, we meet again how pleasant to see that you survived your encounter with a dervish mistress. Although, when she was dead, my trading with the Assassin Order ended. Because the Order had ended. But don't worry, I'm not angry with you. You surely did what you had to. Let's trade. Show me your goods. Oh, a shovel. Last. I don't know if they... I'll buy two because I don't know if they wear out. A black sword and a dark spear. Black sword does 45 damage. God, look at all the crap I've collected. You can use shovel to dig out treasures. <coughs> Move to the spot where you suspect the treasure to be and use the shovel. Yes, I'm sure we'll be doing that very soon. Medicines, no, we don't need any medicines. Only on, look. Interesting dress you're wearing there. Is there anything you need to know? Where is Sophistos? There's one guy who knows where everybody lives. His name is Largo. Is the Doge's representative in the Arsenal district. He'll know where that guy lived. Ah, oh, that's why we needed to speak to Largo. So, hopefully, when we get this tavern bit done, we're yes. using the platform to get up. I want to use the platform. We'll have his way cleared to find out where Sophistos used to live. I don't know. Leave me alone. I spoke to your husband. What? How? No. I don't believe you. He said he will never forget the first Mayflower you gave him. Oh. How? So you... you speak the truth. And he said that he doesn't need to forgive you, for he always knew you wanted to do the right thing. Oh. It's true. I made a very bad mistake. It was a moonless night. I knew we'd missed all the chances we were going to get to dispossess the Doge. The resistance was already scarce, and then I met Victor. I didn't want them to die. And he offered me their lives if I delivered them to him. So, I betrayed them to save them. What choice did I have? If we kept fighting, we were all going to die. Better alive in prison waiting for another opportunity than being slain by the Doge's guards. But just as I had betrayed my friends, Victor had betrayed me. He didn't take a single prisoner. They all died that night. Everything I'd worked for, everything I'd lived for, and everyone I'd loved. Gone. After that, there was no point in fighting anymore. Instead, I consigned myself to a life at Victor's side. I decided that this was to be my punishment until the end of my days. It's never too late. 
I will change things. No, you won't. Don't you understand? You'll just go down the same road I did. In the end, instead of helping, you'll just make things even worse. You cannot change fate. Nobody can. The sooner you accept this, the less damage you'll cause. Now leave me alone. I shall return to my master soon. Here. This is a letter of recommendation. Now you can go and see Largo, who can tell you anything about this district that you need to know. Yeah, cheers for that, bitch. Hmm, I don't know. Right, let's go see Largo. Just piss this guard off now, just to let him know that we are on the list and we are coming in. Wait! Do you have an invitation? Yes. Here it is. Thank you. You may pass. What can I do for you? I knew you'd show up here sooner or later. I wonder who might have given you the permit. You're a soldier of fortune, coming to a place of opportunities. But before you step any further, there's something you need to know. This district is my district. It may look run down, it might be corrupt, and hell, Lord knows there are killings on the streets. Opiates, firecap mushrooms, or worse. But it works. It works because the people obey my rules. The dockyard produces ships for the Doge. A gigantic fleet of vessels. And as long as I give the ships to the Doge, anything else I do is tolerated. So as long as the people obey my rules, everybody has a good day in the streets of the Arsenal District. So, how about you? Will you obey my rules or not? Sure, yeah. I would never dream of breaking your rules. Don't suck up to me. I've got my eye on you. Now, what was it I could do for you? Do you know where a man called Sophistos lives? Sophistos? He pleaded with me for a special permit for a research laboratory when the Great Chimney was built. Do you have the key for the old chimney? Of course I do. But no one in this district gets something from me without giving me something in return. What do you want me to do? As you may recall me saying, there's a golden rule in my district. Nobody messes with the ships. As long as they let the dockyards be, all those little rogues are fine by me. But lately, one of them hasn't been playing by the rules. A man they call Mercutio. Shall I take care of this Mercutio for you? If you can, let's say, remove him. I'll give you your key. It's located just at the end of the stairs that lead down. Right. We're on a manhunt then. Stairs that lead down. Let's see if it shows up on the map. Oh, 
all the way to the bottom then. Silly rogues never learn, do they? Where's the sign for it? Where is it though? Where's the door? I guess we found it. Who are you talking about? He ripped me off this loud mouth, talking all about his great ship and how strong he is. But he left without paying me. Kitten took the money he owed me from my wage. I could try to get your money. You're a noble person. Wish there were more of your kind around. Unpaid service. Hello, sweetheart. Sorry, we've got no jobs at the moment. The girls can handle them all. Are you Mercutio? That's me. Why'd you ask? You broke Largo's rules. Largo sent you? Hey, you don't need to do this. I I'm sure there's another way. Oh yeah, and what would that be? Audio's gone by the looks of things again. Let's talk to Kitten, my boss. Who's Kitten? I am Kitten. You much like a Kitten to me. And if you kill one of my men, I will hunt you down myself. Tusker already told me about you. I know he betrayed you. I don't know about the guys you scared <coughs> with your tricks at the gate. From what I hear, you're quite the wild card. I'm sure you're dangerous too. It need not end in bloodshed though, if you consider my offer. Speak. I hear Largo sent you to see us. We don't like Largo very much. And speaking from experience, you should never take his word. If there's something he promised you for this mission, maybe we can get it for you instead. And if it hurts Largo in the process, well, that just makes it all the more appealing. Largo promised me the keys to the chimney. That's fine. This is the key to his house. One of my girls got hold of it a few months ago. It'll open the locks you need. Now all you've got to do is go to Largo's house, preferably when he's not there, and take what you need. And trust me, whatever you do, if it hurts Largo, it'll be good for <coughs> good for the rest of us. So when we broke into his house before, there was that chest that we couldn't open because it said special key. So I guess now we have the key. So 
And now we make his way all the way back up the top again. I reckon that's why they installed that platform. Because it's a long way up and down them stairs all the while. Not too bad actually if there's no <coughs> not many enemies around. Or even better none. Because they're all already dead. Sure, Largo's in his workplace. Yes, he's there. Let's go to Robbie's house. Why is it work? Already picked the lock, so we don't need to do that again. Of the chest, it must have been on the lower level. Yes, it was in his uh, torture room. Key to the main chimney. How convenient. And we don't have to do his dirty deeds for him. in the right direction. Let's go see if his corpse is still there. It is such a pain trying to kill them. Let's head down. They should stay up there and not follow us down anyway. Up 
presume this is the right place. Oh, it's going to be another combination thing. to loop down from the top or something. Let's go back up the top. There's normally a clue in the same area for the for the combinations. Let's go up the top, kill them beastie things. The flying bats. trying to kill these Where's that scroll? Machinery instructions. The air needs to go through the third pipe, from there it rushes through the second pipe. Shortly forward, <coughs> shortly afterward, the spark will go through the fourth, finally through the first. So that makes it three, two, four, one. Where are your manners? Sneaking into my laboratory like a thief instead of knocking on the door. But you're dead. In case you didn't notice, you're dead. Ah, that explains a lot. I need to talk to you about the Black Grimoire. Oh, <clears throat> the book of books at the same time. Not a book at all. It was given to me. It's mine, and no one will ever see it. But not just because I'm being awkward. Lend me your ear, and I'll explain. Once upon a time in a faraway land a book was written, not with ink and not on paper. Who wrote it? Nobody knows. But the knowledge within can change the cosmic rules in the hands of one who looked beyond the far horizon. Please, go on. No one knows why and no one knows when. But the Black Grimoire found its way into our world. 
It didn't take long for word of its powers to spread, and everyone who heard of it wanted it. Please, go on. Rather than let the book's powers fall into the wrong hands, it was decided it should be destroyed. Hot fire is needed. Very, very hot fire. And I was the one who had to destroy it. So, when this chimney was built to provide energy for the dockyards, I secretly stepped in and made some adjustments that would enable me to burn the book. Did you burn it? No, I didn't. I couldn't. I will never be able to. All I needed to do was activate the chimney. And put the book onto the grating. But when I touched the book, oh, I was intoxicated by its power. I needed to protect it. I was not strong enough to burn it. Where is it now? I buried it. There's a villa on the southwestern isle. The book is buried in the garden, close to a tall tree. But why would you want to do that? You wouldn't want to do that, would you? Ask a gondolier to take you there and unearth the grimoire? No, you wouldn't. Yes, I would. You could. You could put an end to all the horror. But I would never let you. Now, go. You know what you have to do, don't you? I do. Right, so it's pointless going down and doing the combination again. Because that's basically to destroy the Black Grimoire when we eventually get it. these beasts. I'm not pissing about waiting to try and kill those. What's up this way anyway? Step back. Only <coughs> only residents of the Doge Palace and expected guests are allowed to enter. Were you one of the former, I would know you already. And of the latter, we are only expecting the Portuguese delegation. And excuse my bluntness, but you don't exactly look like a member of the delegation. Let's just say you were lacking the appropriate clothing. Cheeky twat. See what else we can do for now, then. Blowing this ship up, maybe. Right. Let's go down to the bottom levels. Yes? I want to use the platform.
show you. Smash those other statues. Must be a way where they attack you. the harbour. Get a bird's eye view of the area I think first then, looking at it. conveyor belt. Awesome. Another ship out on its maiden voyage. 